Hello, it's Phil here at digitaldjtips.com and we're looking today at Zip DJ. Zip DJ is a download service, it's a pool, and a download pool lets you subscribe as a working DJ for a set fee every month, and then you can have as much music as you want from it. Download it as MP3s and burn it to CD, play it in your DJ sets, do what you want with it, keep it for your own use, but it is basically a great way of getting hold of latest music, music way up front from people who are waiting for it to be released by other means, and also to get exclusives, acapellas, DJ friendly mixes, instrumentals, and all those kind of things that quite often are only released on the promotional versions of a tune and never make the real release. So, Zip DJ is one of the leading pools. There's only a handful that we would recommend, and this is one of them. They're based in Canada. They've got a good history of being involved with copyright people and and the record labels themselves, over 1,700 record labels use them, and uh, compiling charts for various publications. In other words, they're kosher. They are one of the good guys in this often shady area. So, um, so let's take a look at what you get. So when you um, sign up and give them your credentials, you need to be a working DJ, but you don't need to be Tiesto. You just need to be able to prove that you work, that you play somewhere. If you've got a flyer or a website or a venue that plays plays that you play out that you can uh, get a letter from anything that just proves you're out there playing this music because the record labels want to know that you're playing the music um, and giving them feedback on it that's another part of this whole system you give feedback you submit a chart on a regular basis back to zip dj and tell them what's working and what isn't and it's kind of like a fortuitous loop because the record labels then know exactly what to put their um, efforts behind when they're releasing music because of your feedback. Uh, so, okay, enough enough of the um, the background to it. Let's take a look at what, what you get. So, when you load up, you uh, get to a page where it shows you all the new releases uh, in all genres. Uh, so, there's an awful lot of new releases. There's two views. You can view just the releases themselves. And here they are. Or you can review the releases with the mix is all there so for instance this track here put your money where your mouth is has got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven mixes you can guarantee that when that's released there will not be eleven mixes there and some of those might be stuff that you want that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get your hands on uh, so you can see there's an awful lot here uh, so you can drill down by genre now this particular pool um, is very good on dance you can see there's a lot of dance stuff acapellas and dj tools chill out mainstream dubstep electronica euro and then house has got all these different subcategories so even better on house um, but also it's got stuff like country music latin pop rock and alternative and urban and urban includes things like r&b hip-hop and reggae and um, soccer and calypso and so on so there is a, a lot of stuff there that that will suit all kinds of djs but with all pools the only way of finding out if they've got stuff for you and if what they've got is worth your money is to subscribe and try them for a month or two and get used to and see if they work for you. Okay, so the point of showing you that was that you can drill down. So say you are a... Um, you're a deep house, indie disco, and new disco DJ. That kind of sums me up better than most of those. Um, and then suddenly you're looking at a more manageable selection of tunes. And again, you can just click here and look at the titles themselves, have a, a scroll through and find stuff you like. Uh, and then at the point where you're finding stuff you like, well, I'll show you what happens next uh, at that point in a minute. Because I just want to show you a few of the other uh, choices you have at the top here. So um, new releases we were just looking at there. Uh, and you can, as, as we just looked at, drill down by genre. Also, they put packs out. Now, these packs are pretty good if you're in a hurry or, or, you, or you're, frankly, a beginner DJ who just needs a bit of help in a, a new genre or just an area that, you know, you haven't got a massive amount of experience in. These packs are compiled by the Zip DJ crew. Uh, and, for instance, there's a top 40 pack there. Uh, which you can grab uh, and there's your top 40 essentials for this weekend's gig there's a country country radio one there rock radio there these are a really useful thing to have um, there's also a charts section the charts section is repeated over here on the right hand side uh, and there's various charts you can look at so for instance there's the club chart in canada that we're looking at here at the moment um, i found this sometimes by the way it just sometimes takes a little while to load what you're looking at so i don't know if that's our connection here we're, we're viewing this from the mediterranean we're not viewing it from the US but we did find that sometimes these pages took a little while to load and, and our connection is quite fast anyway generally it's okay so club chart urban chart house chart trance chart doesn't exist I couldn't find a chance ch chart in any territory I don't know why that's there uh, but uh, most of them are there so there's your charts again it's just a way of looking for music uh, and having a preview of it now talking of previewing it if you hit the play button here uh, the preview comes up here uh, and you can play and listen to it at the top uh, and 
you can cue tracks up as well. There we go. I'll just stop that so you can hear me. So you can cue tracks up and you have a whole playlist going. So just bang, 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 bang. Add a whole load of tunes in there and just leave it playing in the background. Or just kind of get everything playing in the background. It's a great way to just have music playing away there and see if your ears prick up and something takes your interest. Uh, so there's a the chart section there. And as I said, it's also over here. Um, so let's talk about downloading. So let's say that I'm not going to pretend I'm downloading that Felix song. That's too much for me. Let's just grab, let's just grab something uh, from down here a bit further down. Okay, let's just say we wanted to download this track here. And we were interested in that one. We were interested in that one. And we were interested in that one, having listened to them. Um, at that point, you'll head off to the download manager. You can get it here or you can get it here. Let's just click it here. Actually, it doesn't matter where you click it. It's always going to come up in this area here. So here's the tunes that we have got ready for downloading. Uh, when you're ready, when you kind of finish, you click batch download. Now, that's the same as clicking uh, buy, basically, in Beatport or somewhere like that. That's the point where normally you'd hand over your money. Of course, here you've paid your subscription. You can just grab them. So you click there and it will uh, zip them all up for you and then download them onto your computer's um, my downloads or wherever you download stuff to then you can unzip them uh, and throw them in your in your collection all done so that's the basic uh, that's the basic way it works now there's other bits and pieces you can look by label for instance here's all the labels that they work with as i say 1700 labels in here so a great way of browsing there and there's also an archive of releases here um, remember that DJ pools are mainly there for promotional use so generally you're going to find the most recent tunes on there be suspicious of DJ pools that have uh, lots of old stuff on there because it's not really what they're there for. They, they, they grew out of the whole promotional 12 inch culture and white label culture. Uh, and there's various bits and pieces up here as well. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out as far as search goes is, for instance, here you can click on um, the name of the artist, you can click on the label, you can click on the actual um, remixer, for instance, uh, and you can then go and kind of go down a rabbit hole. So for instance, say that you like the look of the um, label here. I'm not gonna click on Universal because it's a pretty big label. So this little label here interests you. Well, there's all their releases. So if someone's got a sound that you, you, you kind of like, well, there's a nice way of just discovering stuff. And the other thing I wanted to point out was this part here. This is where the Zip DJ crew have sorted out the uh, relative popularity of the tunes. Uh, so, for instance, on this particular release here, it's reasonably balanced. There's a, you know, most people are downloading the, the main mix, but some people pretty close behind these two here. But some of them are really obvious. Like, for instance, this one here, this Adele song. Uh, this one is far and away the most popular mix, followed by that one, and everything else is kind of lagging behind. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. You know, maybe you do want the most popular mix, or maybe you want to just have a sneaky listen to the ones that other people haven't picked up on yet and find something that works for you. I haven't shown you things like submitting your charts, and I haven't shown you all the stuff in here because it's quite a lot but i hope you've got a feel for how zip dj uh, works here uh, that's our quick overview of the zip dj digital download service now as ever if you found this useful please do subscribe to digital dj tips by clicking the link below me and you can also join us by clicking the join link to get lots of goodies in your inbox i've uh, enjoyed telling you about zip dj thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon